Hey, welcome to the show today. Hey, nice catch. Uh, today's show, um, Lucas gave me a problem right here. And it, we have no idea what the answer is. We have no idea what the answer is, if it's going to have a remainder or not. We don't know. Uh, if you would like to go ahead and do this problem and hit that pause button, and when you're ready to check it, just go ahead and hit that play. It is 19,637 divided by 28. So go ahead and hit that pause button right now, and when you're ready to check it, hit the play button. All right, welcome back. Okay, um, first of all, Lucas, can I put 28 into 1? No. No, you can't. Can I put 28 into 19? No, you cannot. Can I put 28 into 196? Um, yeah. I think so. Do you know how many times? Um, Give me your best guess. Five. Five. He says five. All right, let's check it out. So the only way you're going to be able to do this is write out some little problems right on the side. And you might have to write a couple of them, but that's okay. That's how you do this type of a problem right here, this division problem. So he said five, so I'm going to put 28 times five. And it's important to know your multiplication. It makes it a lot easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy, it easier. Makes you go faster. Faster. Eight times five is 40. Put the four up here. Five times two is 10, plus the four would be 140. Uh, I think we might be able to get a, yeah. another number in there. 28 times six. 8 times 6 is 48, 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 4, which would be 16. Let's try one more, all right, 28 times 7, so 8 I times 7. Equals the same exact number. Oh, that, that would be great if it equals the exact number. Uh, 7 times 2 is 14, plus the 5, 196. 8 times 7 is 56, 7 times 2 is 14, 14 plus 5 is 9. Bingo! He hit it right on the nose. Nice job! I didn't know that. Nice job. I didn't okay. Know that. Okay, 7. We put 7 right there. 7 times 28 is 196. Mm. See, doing problems like this, this is like a, a, a challenge or a puzzle, and it's just, it's just fun to do. Um, so we go ahead and subtract this. Our friend Finn, um, he loves doing these type of problems. So um, look for him down in the comments below. He always adds a little comment down there. So Finn, is uh, um, his, his mom is from China, and um, he's one of my students, so he's an awesome. Okay, uh, so this is an interesting problem because now this is 0, 0, 0. Now you don't have to write these zeros out, but now what do we do? We have to drop that next number down which is a three, okay? Yeah. And I'm just gonna erase these zeros so it just makes, so we can't put 28 into three, can we? No. No. So then we need to drop the next number down. Drop it down, yeah. drop, drop it, it down. down. Bring this number all the way down here to seven, okay? Now there's some questions going on here. It's like, whoa, I've never dropped two numbers down before. It's a new type of show. It's, it's a new type of show. Um, is there a number that, how many times can I put 28 into 37? I think I know the answer without even doing any kind of calculation. How many times can I put 28 into 37? Um, Tell the audience. Wait, how many? Number one. One. That, yeah, if it was two, it would be, a, what? Uh, 56 or something like that. Um, so it's one. One would be going right here, but what do we put right there? This is a zero. We could not put any number right here. So this is a zero. So then it's seven, zero, and then one. So one times 28, put a 28 right there. All right, we're going to subtract it. This is a two, 17, 17 minus eight. What is it? Nine, all right, so we have a remainder of nine. Now, we have 700 when one, remainder nine. We got a little bit left over, all right? Mm -hmm. So that was a really cool problem. Thanks a lot, Lucas. Thank you. All right. I had no idea it was actually gonna equal zero. zero. I know, it came out. And like I said, when you come to a problem like this, you can't, can't get 28 into three, and now you have to drop the next number down. You put a zero here, and then you put your, uh, then the one would go there. So one times 28 would be 28. So awesome problem. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. Um, 
what are you guys going to be doing this weekend? We're going to go try to do a little fishing down by the stream. Uh, we got a new channel we're going to be uh, um, opening up pretty soon, so I will have that. Um, I'll have some more information about that coming up, but it's going to be about fishing. About outdoors. Yeah, just outdoors fishing and stuff like that, so I'm Thank pretty you. excited about that. So um, some fun times like travel, nature, fishing, hunting, all kinds of cool stuff just being outside. So, hey, um, put down a comment down below. Uh, you got anything you want to know, let them know about? Um, Molly Rich. <laughs> <laughs> let us know anything about you, where you're from, what you like to do, what you're doing with your weekend. Send us a math problem from us. Yeah, us. you could send a math problem or tell, tell us what you're going to be doing with your mom and dad this, this weekend. So, um, thanks a lot for watching the show. Though. I think we said that about a couple of times. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.